Good afternoon and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to take the Hypoglide Chelan 155 XL out of its backpack and I'm going to inflate it with the DeWalt inflator. This is to show you how easy it is to inflate it with this uh, common inflator. It's great because if you have DeWalt uh, with the 20 volt max batteries, you can uh, interchange them with your drills. Your, I use it for my drills and my impact and my uh, saw. It's great. So I'm going to use it on this one today and we'll see just exactly how to inflate it. Uh, before I get started, I want to put a word out to Apply. They're a great company, great customer service. I had a problem with my backpack that the uh, kayak first came in and they immediately, customer service sent me a new backpack and upgraded it to this one. So I want to thank Aquaglide for that, and I want to thank them for their great customer service. All right, so uh, let's get started and uh, take this thing out of its bag and uh, get connect, get the pump connected to it and see how uh, see how it pumps up. So the first thing we want to do, you see the pump right here? This is the Walt, the Walt 20 volt lithium ion pump without the battery. So let me get a battery. All right. Hey, Pascual, can you help me? So this is a 20 volt lithium ion battery, uh, the Walt pump. It has a high volume side and it has a tire inflator side. So all I did was add these two valves. I added an adapter to the high volume side, a Hulky Roberts adapter, and uh, added this to the uh, tire inflator side. I will uh, post both these below so that you can purchase them on Amazon. Now what I do is, is this calls for three pounds on each side and uh, six pounds for the floor, which is the drop stitch floor. What I do is I inflate the floor to nine pounds because you can inflate it up to 12 pounds. I inflate mine to nine pounds because I'm a bigger guy and um, I'm out there alone fishing. I want a little bit more support under my feet. So you have to inflate one side to about 30 percent and then you inflate after you inflate the floor. You inflate the floor first, inflate one side to about 30 percent, then you inflate the other side fully and then go back and inflate this the rest of the way. What I do is I inflate this using the high volume side until I hear um, until I hear it uh, start to whine, start to hear the pitch of the airflow change a lot higher. Then I'll stop it and finish it off with this. And a great thing with this gauge, I'm gonna put this down here. The great thing with this one is you can preset the pressure right here and walk away. And that's just fantastic because I can be doing other things. I could be getting kayak ready. I could be getting fishing equipment ready. It's fantastic. So uh, let's get to work and uh, we'll see how it works. By the way, this has two sides. It has a suction side and a and a blower side. The suction side, when you deflate the kayak it's great because it'll it'll suck all the air out of it flat that way you can pack it up a lot easier alright so we fill the floor at first turn it on select free air blow let it go to town. Now you hear the 
pitch and the motor changed. Switch to this one. Oh, by the way, turn all your valves so that they are open, locked. So before you start putting air in your car. So I set my pressure to nine pounds, like this. Start it. Then I can go do whatever I want to do. Okay, great. So that side's done, or the floor is done, I should say. Go ahead and put the cap on him. We're done with him. And then, if we go to the other side, with the high volume, we switch to high volume, turn it on. And what I usually do is wait until the tone of the airflow changes and that's about 30%. Okay. Then I go this side. Do the same thing. You'll see this indicator. Tone changes, take him off, switch him over to this one, change it to the tire inflator, raise the pressure to three pounds, right there, good to go. Notice that the indicator shows zero. It won't show three pounds until you're right up to three pounds. But as you can see from the indicator here, we're almost at three pounds. So there it is. See, it's beginning to sh jump up there. So it'll shut off there in a second now.
Well, it shut off actually at 3.4 3 pressure, but when it stopped, you can see it, it's indicating 3.1. So don't be alarmed when it says 3.4 and it hasn't shut off yet. All right, let's do the other side. Remember this side, we've already inflated the 30 PS, 30 percent. Sorry. So all we have to do is uh, connect the valve here and start it up at three again. Okay, this one's been pumping for a couple of minutes. And as you can see, walk around here, we're almost there. It'll kick off here in a second. It's already showing three here. Like I said before, it'll show about 3.4 before it cuts off. But then when it cuts off, you'll see that. The actual two pressure is about 3.1. Alright, there it is. So that's all there is to it. Translating it with the DeWalt. It takes a little while. It's not real super fast, but you're not... When it's super hot outside, it's a lot better than jumping up and down with that pump. Even as a double action pump, take a lot out of you when you're uh, when you're an older guy like me. Um, even though I'm not that old, but still, it's 90 degrees outside. You don't want to be working on that pump. All right. Uh, so now I have to do is uh, load all my accessories on the kayak and uh, get ready to go.
All right, well, you see it got a little dark here. It took a little time to fix that Scotty uh, gear head, but since then I've ordered a new one for about $11 on Amazon, and um, it's all fixed. If you're an inflatable kayaker, I hope you got some use out of this video. I hope it helped you decide whether you want to use an inflator to inflate your kayak, whether it's worthwhile, whether it's worth the investment. I marked below all the parts that I've used, all the items I've used in this video uh, in order to inflate the kayak faster. Again, if you uh, enjoyed this, please uh, mark the uh, subscribe button below and ring the bell in order to um, be a subscriber for new videos. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.